Hi friends, this is Sahaj Vakam. Today we are going to see how to change the app's password using the FNDC Pass utility, which is the utility recommended by the Oracle to change the app's password. And also we can able to do without using that utility, but it's not the recommended thing. And also we need to do some other more steps when compared to that, which is the simplest way to do that means is the FNDC Pass only to change the app's password and also in case we are using any other alter statement command means we need to use some other steps to restore it and also there is some pre-request also available we need to take the backup of the fnd user and fnd oracle underscore user id the two tables which is the important table for for the fndc pass especially for the users and let's see how do we do that before i'm going to start the uh, fndc i'm going to stop the middle tab services so i'm just stopping the service of the middle tab so i'm providing the passwords everything <coughs> So my services are down and I'm going to the FND top print directory. I already source my environment. So FNDC pass. So the normal code only you're going to provide. And my password is Jimmy, which is the previous password. Zero and Y is a flags and system system password I, we need to provide it okay and system which is the mode what you are using see system mode is specially for the special users for apps and apple sys like that so that only i am using the system apps and the new password is apps see my previous password is jimmy and my new password is apps okay i'm going to enter it the password has been changed successfully view the log file which is very important one yeah it's both yeah it's changed successfully and also the current it's, it's also changed. I'm just quitting from there. After that, what we have to do means we have to check it in the DB level also. So I'm just logging as an Oracle user in another prompt and I'm checking the SQL SSDB and connecting to the apps user. No, no, no. I need to provide the previous password, which is the Jimmy. Yeah, it's not possible. See, you're not longer, you're no longer connected to the worker. The invalid username pass. Yeah, this is the normal error. And I'm providing the new password. Yes, let's connect. <coughs> okay. Now, what we have to do, means we are performing in 12.2 environment. So here the Fusion middleware is there. So we need to go for the admin scripts home directory, which is the directory, home directory for scripts. I'm just going, I'm just moving to that directory and we need to start the AD admin SRBCTR. AD admin, just tap it, start. I think it's take a while. Yeah, it started. And then go to the WebLogic console. So the console is your hostname colon 7001 is the port number. So I'm providing the colon here. 7001 slash console that's it our console will be open i am already saved the weblogic password here 
So the default username is weblogic only. So just log in. Okay. So here the home page is there and go to the change center lock and edit. You have to click it. After that, you need to select the data source and then select the EBS data source here and go to the connection pool. From here, you, we need to change the password, which is the apps password, what you have changed. So I'm providing your apps, the four digit. Okay, apps and save the prompt. Okay, and activate it. Okay, let's activate and log it out. Okay, go to the prompt. Stop the admin server. Okay, I'm going to stop it. It will be stop. And it's stopping. Yeah, it's stop is successful. Right? Now we need to run the AD auto config in the application tab because we need to configure all the initial admin because we need to configure all the configuration parameters in the contest path so that's what we are running the uh, auto config see it's auto config completed a successful line once you run after that you need to start the services i'm providing the new password here and providing the weblogic password here and the services will be started <clears throat> in case if you are using any alter statement commandments definitely your application responsibility you can able to see the responsibility if you are clicking the responsibility means it won't work yeah now my home page is opened and i'm clicking the responsibility the functions will be opening in background see it's working very perfectly so the way of changing the apps password using the fntc is a good way and the recommended way don't use the alter statement command alter user command to change the apps password which is not recommended because apps and apple says is always sync thanks for watching guys bye